NHS England has admitted that gender confusion may be a transient phase, which in most cases does not persist into adolescence. The statements were made alongside proposals for an interim service to replace the Tavistock Gender Identity Development Service, which closes next spring. The guidance notes that amid the huge rise in referrals to the clinic over the last decade, at least 15 children were under four years old, and it warned clinicians they must be mindful of the risks of affirming young children's gender confusion and allowing them to act as if a member of the opposite sex. The proposals also noted a significant proportion of children and young people who are concerned about or distressed by issues of gender incongruence experience coexisting mental health, neurodevelopmental and or family or social complexities in their lives.